everyone. I'm Tiki Two Flower. Welcome to Cosplay Tips with Tiki. Today I'm going to be talking about basic wig care and maintenance as well as transportation. How do I get my wig to my con? Um, these are all, again, common questions that I get asked. As I said in the wig styling video, a lot of people ask me about wigs. Obviously transporting wigs is not quite the same as transporting your own hair because uh, it's not attached to your head, but I have a few tips and tricks for that. Um, foam heads are really good for storing styled wigs uh, because they keep the shape. When you move your wigs around, a good way to keep them in place is with straight pins like you would use in sewing because I can stab right through the net in the wig in a few places and right into the styrofoam and look the wig is secured so once your wig is secure in place uh, and let's say you are just simply taking it home you want to store your wigs in a place where they're not going to get too dusty so a lot of people like to put them um, in their closets or wherever you may store your cosplay supplies. When you're taking a wig to a con, it can be a little bit tricky when you have a styled wig. Um, I would often just take this and honestly put it like in a flat bottom shopping bag. Um, another option you have is to get a cardboard box that your wig will fit in. And I would probably uh, add a little bit of cushioning in there. You could use like those air pillows or maybe some plastic bags just to keep the foam head from moving around. You can even try to pack a foam head like this in your suitcase. Um, but again, you wanna make sure that it's, it's cushioned and it's not gonna move around and then it's not gonna get squished. And you also want to be careful, of course, in your styling phase to make sure that that style is locked in there and not going to go anywhere. So that's our storage for short styled wigs. Now, what about longer wigs? If you're anything like me, when you come home from a con, it's something like this, just a big mess of fake hair that you pull out of your stuff. Now, I'll show you how to deal with this uh, as well as the best ways to prevent this from happening. So, I will start off by reiterating, a lot of how you treat wigs is how you would treat your own hair. And I'm going to comb this wig out similarly to how I would comb out um, my own hair were it this long which it never will be. Uh, or if I was going out someone else's hair. Um, it's helpful to have an adjustable stand like this or something similar uh, so that you can get to the bottom of the wig uh, that you would, may have to work on yourself. Uh, a wide tooth comb. And you can use hair detangler on wigs, but another really simple trick is to mix about one part fabric softener to three parts water in a spray bottle. And this is going to help detangle your wig. So I'm just gonna lightly mist this over the wig to get me started. And if I get any tangles, I will probably spray some more. And you may or may not know this, but with your own hair, it's best to detangle it starting at the bottom. A lot of people just take their comb and then rip through their hair. Don't do that to your own hair. Don't do it to your wig. You actually need to start at the bottom and work your way up. So I'm starting at the bottom of the hair. I didn't see, oh, that comb goes through really nicely in that little section of hair. And so what I do is I comb through that bit and every time I'm able to get the comb through fairly 
cleanly and smoothly, I'll move up the hair a little bit. And I'm just going to continually repeat this process. As I said, if it gets more tangled as I'm going, if I'm having a little trouble with the knots, I'll spray a little bit more of that fabric softener and water mix as I go up the hair. Part of the key here is also to continue to comb all the way down the hair every time you move up. So that way you're not leaving any knots as you travel up the length of the hair. If you get bad little knots like this, you can grasp that little section in your hand pretty tightly so you don't pull on the rest of the wig. And then get that little knot out. Or maybe not the first try. <laughs> so there's still a couple more things I wanna do. Unlike human hair, uh, synthetic wig hair does not detangle perfectly without a massive amount of eff effort, which I'll tell you is not necessarily worth it because it's going to retangle fairly easily. Um, but you can see, um, I haven't gotten the top of the wig yet, but the bottom of the wig is already so much smoother just from combing it out carefully. How do you keep it this way? Very simply, take this longer detangled section and put it in a loose braid. So first make sure your three sections of hair are each fairly smooth and separated. And braid the hair together, trying to uh, smooth it out as you go, so that way you're not tangling it back up. You can choose to secure the end with a rubber band or a clip. I don't usually find it necessary with, uh, with thicker wigs like this, they usually stay in place pretty well. So now I've got all this detangled, it's in a braid, it's gonna stay that way. Um, and let me bring it down. Because as you can see, the top is still knotty, but this is a layered wig. So now I have all those bottom bits separated from the top, which is pretty bad. Uh, so I can repeat a similar process detangling the top of the wig that's not in the braid. Though, because this is the part with the net, that's the part that goes on your head. It's a little trickier to comb through all the way. So I'm kind of picking this apart with my fingers a little bit too. And uh, let's see. And that's something that would be a little bit more easily uh, smoothed out when you wear it as well. But I think this wig looks a whole lot better than when I pulled it out of my bag. And so how do I continue to keep it that way? Uh, there's a few options that you have for storing at home. You can put the wig onto a foam head like this. Uh, you can put it onto a plastic or metal wig stand. Um, typically, you uh, will want to leave it uh, so the braid maybe rusts on something. Um, I'll show you real quick. And you can also pin 
this wig to the headstand and um, you can transport it this way um, as long as you're careful about the braid you probably want to put a rubber band on it if you're going to do it but the nice thing about long wigs that aren't in a really funky style uh, with hair glue and things like that is that you can actually transport this in a bag um, you can simply sort of coil it up and then put it into a small shopping bag and carry this or I can put it in with the rest of my con stuff and then as long as I'm careful when I pull it out it's still in pretty good shape. And I recommend keeping the braid in on longer wigs like this until you actually have it on your head to minimize the tangles once you put it on. Uh, so there are some tips for detangling, caring for, and storing your wigs. See you next time.